Hi there, this is Paula from Replicon. If you've incurred an expense for work, chances are you want to submit it for reimbursement ASAP. I'm going to give you a quick tour of Replicon's expense sheet functionality, so you can do just that. This is the expense sheet list page. From this page, you can view approval statuses, amounts, and uploaded receipts for all of your existing expense sheets, among other data. Click an expense sheet name to view or edit that sheet. You can use these status filters to help you find expense sheets. And you can also submit expense sheets from this page. To add a new expense sheet, click this button. This is an expense sheet. Each row represents one expense. You'll need to complete the date incurred and amount fields for each expense. You can record the amount of the expense in the currency it was charged in. Just be sure to select that currency from this field. If the expense relates to a specific project you're working on, you can select the name of the project here, and the client associated with that project will appear here. If you're entering expenses for multiple projects, click the Add Project button. You may even be able to select a task to associate the expense with, depending on how your expense sheet was set up. When recording an expense, be sure to select the correct expense type from the list your system administrator set up, whether it's airfare, car rental, or hotel costs. If a type you need isn't available, talk to your supervisor. Or you might have a miscellaneous category like this one that you can use. Note that the types available may differ from one project to the next. If the type is rated, like mileage, you'll need to enter the quantity, like the number of miles. A rate will likely appear by default, but this can be overridden. You can attach any receipt files for expenses using this link. We support many file formats. You can search our help system if you want a full list. And if you're using a cell phone, of course, you can take a picture of your receipts to attach. Note that some fields shown here may be hidden by default in your expense sheet, but may be available if you click this Settings button. If you still don't see one of the fields I have set up here, your administrator has likely disabled it at the system level. You can also use the settings dialog to hide fields you don't need, if you want to. If a reimburse checkbox displays, ensure it is checked if you want to be reimbursed for the expense. And make sure this field shows the currency you want to be reimbursed in. If no reimburse checkbox is available, all expenses will be marked as reimbursable by default. A couple of other details. Clicking Summary shows your expense sheet with only the important fields. If you click the Detail button for a row, you can enter data for that expense in a dialog, rather than in the Expense Sheet form fields. Clicking this arrow icon allows you to assign an expense to a different project on the sheet. And clicking plus and minus adds or deletes rows, if you want to do that. And don't forget to give the expense sheet a name and a date. Finally, be sure to save your expense sheets if you don't plan to submit them right away. They won't be saved automatically. You can submit your expense sheet from here, or as I mentioned before, from the expense sheet list page. It will be sent to your expense approvers, and you should receive an email or a push notification when the expense sheet is approved or rejected. If you find you need to make changes to an expense sheet after you've already submitted it, you may be able to reopen and edit it, depending on your permissions. If you can't reopen a sheet you need to edit, contact your supervisor. That's about all you need to know about expense sheets in Replicon. If you have questions about your company's policies around expenses, talk to your supervisor. You can also find out more information about Replicon's expense sheets at www.replicon.com slash help. Once there, click Employees and refer to the links in the Expenses section. Or you can visit our community or contact our support team for more help. That's all from me for now. Thanks for your time.